Right. Sometimes the fast ulti is better. A lot of times the fast ulti is better. But you know what the curb does? It makes the noise. You know the good noise, like the the noise that makes you feel something. Yeah. That's, Ooh, that's RJ playing with traditional. Ooh. I don't know if this is a mistake or not, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Not gonna lie, I don't really like the default skin, but I always, I definitely respect players who go for yeah, it. Yeah, I respect them more because you know they're playing the game the way it was intended. And I have heard from a lot of default skin players that they prefer to be on the left because they prefer the gold minos with the the blue garbage. So even you know having the default skin and being on what a lot of default skin players consider to be the worst side. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. All right, he's gonna set up for his own, I suppose. Yep, there we go. So there's a 59 ulti from from Shocky. Yeah, a strong, yeah, strong start from Shocky. Are just gonna have to work to do well, but that zone is looking pretty good right now. Yeah, 58. Yeah, that that's a very 58 from 19 is is really efficient zone. Yeah, he had a he had a pretty good setup as well, so very nice. Shocky's got a really high board though. Ooh. He's gonna be able to pump out some damage Ooh. unless he makes a big mistake. And then now he's gonna have to like dig frantically. Maybe like even use his own. I think Shocky was able to. Did I think that that was lucky that Shocky was able to get out of that situation? I guess not fully out. Of well, he's yet. not. He's not really out yet. Yeah, he's not out yet. Now the moment I say he, oh, he got out. No. Okay. Okay. He, now, I, he's, now, now he's now he's good. Now, now he's, he's good. out. Yeah, yeah. Now he's out. His board is all right, and he has full zone, so yeah, pretty good. Um, but RJ is about to push this over into phase three. All true, yeah. He has zone two. Yeah, so so that zone is definitely gonna phase transition. I think Shocky recognizes that. Yeah, yeah, he's zoning as well. All right, let's see who comes out on top. Just could decide who wins. Right, right. Because if one, if it's that that phase transition zone, one player is a good zone, one player is a bad Ooh, zone. Nice, oh, a that's a beautiful ulti, and then okay, yeah, so RG a little oh, bit goes no. out of Shocky's board. Yeah, Shocky uh, receives some lines, but it cancels most of it out. Nice. Yeah. So we're gonna get some nice face reaction here. And you know, this is kind of where the match really starts, is phase three. Yep. But how efficient are ya? Yeah. Let's find out. We saw some of that from Baseball Boy, who showed really nice down stacking in phase three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. those misdrops. Oh, that's not good. Shocky, that is scary. But he has a very nice board, he could convert into a lot of damage. And get down pretty. Weak. Oh, but maybe not. I think that zone did what it needed to do for Shocky, but he still has a lot more work to do if he wants yeah. to. Yeah, a lot of self-made cheese. Yeah, man-made stack, if you will. Yep. You know, we are our wor own worst enemy, right? <laughs> True. But uh, RJ is about to add fuel to that fire. Here comes this. I think that was Ooh, a full zone. The SGC from Shocky. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, he's ready to uh, tank to mitigate most of that damage. Nice. There's that zone chunk. And oh no, too he much. got way too much. Yeah, yeah. Shocky nice. did have the half zone there, but that was still a terrifying cue to deal with there. Yes. Both players having a, a very effort. similar APM, despite Shocky having a, a significant speed gap here. Yeah, RJ edged them out with that last zone. It seems. Yeah. Okay, so I guess this, uh, I guess the classic skin is not um, a disadvantage for RJ. Okay, RJ opting for a sailboat. Interesting. It's one of the signature moves of New York players, apparently. <laughs> Aside from being loud at lands. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is my first, you know, it's, it's been very fun being here. Yeah, glad to have you here. Thanks for commentating. Yeah, of course. Nice. I just got some nice garbage. Ooh. Shocky's gonna have to dig. Is he gonna turn that into a... Oh, yeah. that's a lot of garbage coming in. Yeah, he's gonna have to zone now and start sending some lines. Nice. Okay, Shocky yeah. finds the wall, probably is out of this. He's nice. trying to find more. Nice. That is okay, a nice, nice. For find for, for the 19. Yeah, he, he'll be very happy with that. Yeah, not the most efficient board 19, state. but yeah, board state going in. Oh, it was RJ missed drops in the zone. But not too bad. He can skimmer, take a T spin. But mm, I guess in phase two, he's gonna probably wanna clean up his board as well. Yeah. It's almost like you're just preparing for that that transition zone. Yeah. Yeah, nice count to four. 
Yeah, I like the skin because it makes like those kind of like forecasts like way more uh, notice, like apparent. Like that, uh, what's it called? That uh, T-spin forecast with the garbage. All right, Shocky entering zone. We'll just put them into phase three. It, if it's a good zone, it will. Okay. Oh, that miss drop doesn't. Yeah. I. This is. I can't tell if this is gonna go into phase three or not. I think I it'll be think close. Oh, it, oh, it, it does. Just okay. barely. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's why they're there. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> that that was kind of 50-50 for a bit. Ooh, RJ starting to dig. That is quite the upstack from Shocky there. See if Shocky can take advantage. I know, but he's an eight-one, so it's not very. He's not very like flexible attacking options. It, yeah, it was a little greedy, but I, the greed is what you have to have in face. Yeah, I think he was like trying to like send as much as he could to like disrupt RJ's rhythm. Yeah, Shocky knows that he has yeah. to go for some pretty aggressive play here against a pretty efficient player. All right, RJ's got quarter zone. Off to use it now. Ooh, oh, there's two lines. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, he's shaking. He's like nodding. Yep. Yeah. It's over. Shocky had a couple of miss drops there, and so I think he he almost let RJ get out of that when he had the opportunity to to close in. But Sh Shocky was able to find the kill there. Yeah, that was a good job uh, not letting RJ um, take control of that match towards the end. It's like very easy to like get lost, especially in that kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah, good, good tanking from RJ. He had a nice well, so he decides to like milk it. Yeah. Yeah. He he also like saw that Shocky was not like trying to spike him out. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's easy to get spiked out and you're like getting greedy like that. Especially like the beginning of the game. Yeah, I, and I feel like a lot of top players who are used to kind of speed running that zone, going for that six three up stack, are pretty unlikely to spike you out because they're not they're just going for the up stack, not necessarily for like PCs right. or anything like that. That was oh, those two eye pieces in succession were really nice. Yeah, that was a very quick zone. Very nice zone. Only thirty eight um, for yeah. the first zone. I would probably expect Shocky to have a yeah fifties or sixties maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Arjun's gonna be wanting to send a lot of damage right now, or else he might end up in an Shaki unfavorable position. He doesn't have a T piece. He does, but it's late. Yeah, so. Oh, he only gets only 35. A 35. Wow. Yeah. Now yeah. Arjun's in a pretty good spot. Yeah. Both players having that suboptimal for zone. Yeah, Arjun's speeding up a bit, I feel like, to try to take advantage. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice counter. Yeah, that's a lot of garbage in the in the queue for Shocky there. Yeah, all right. His garbage access, nice. And so now this is where both players are probably starting to think about that phase transition. RJ is the Ooh, first to hit that zone now. button, the win button. I think he feels like he's in a good spot, so he's going to try to like push his advantage. And I like Shocky not zoning right away. Um, going into that, it almost looks like ST stacking. Is that what he's doing? Oh, not quite yet. Yeah, almost. It's like... No, I mean, that's good. Like... You know, he's not getting any garbage, he should like try to make a nice stack to set it off a nice zone. Yeah, and he was fairly okay, successful. That garbage is actually really clean for I phase know. three. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, he lost out on the oh, zone that damage, but oh sucks. No. Yeah, he's gonna have to zone now and dig quick. Oh, oh, no. Oh, does no, not no, get no, the no, proper no. pieces. Okay, okay. RJ's sending a lot of damage right now. RJ not very giving much it, has yeah, the advantage. It any time. Nice. It. Yeah, wow. Good. I've noticed that RJ is very good at capitalizing when they have the upper hand in those phases. They're very good at recognizing and understanding exactly what they need to do to, to convert the round. Yeah, he's very good at that. <laughs> he's like, all, he's like, like always screen watching. Um, always aware of like what to do at every moment pretty much so it makes him like very difficult to deal with because yeah. he's like very he's like very flexible as well and like able to figure out like a good game plan for like every strat right and i think i've noticed a couple of times in this phase one is that shaki hasn't necessarily like 
maybe handle it a little bit awkward, like the amount of pressure that RJ has been giving at the beginning of those rounds. Just very good at applying pressure consistently throughout the match. Right, yes. But I think RJ is like a bit susceptible to getting pressured out since he is slower than Shockey. So that's where like Shockey sometimes, you know, gets the edge on him. Like mm -hmm. where he can like get those like rounds where he's like 20 like drops per minute faster and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. All right. Both players are pretty low, though, so they're looking pretty good. They'll mm -hmm. probably start setting up for their next zone. Yeah, because it is now those scores in the 40,000s. Again, that's when we start looking at transition. Mm -hmm. Both players have a side well right here. Not the most optimal if you're looking for a very strong zone to push into phase three. I think RJ is going to try to look to open up that center well before he starts with the zone. Yeah, I think Shockey's just getting unfortunate garbage, getting that 9-0 that garbage. Yeah. Oh, okay, but RJ gets more garbage, so he's going to probably want to take more. Yeah, 53,000. That phase transition is getting very close. 55, 56. Ooh. Shockey's got a zone oh. before he hits that 50,000 mark. Hits zone. I think Shockey's preparing for zone with this SSD. Yeah. Oh, but he missed, he missed <gasps> drops it. He's going to probably want a zone now just to like fix it. He's got a zone before, All right, nice. before a RJ ends his zone if he wants the full nice. timer. There it is. Yeah. Because if you start your zone before the 60,000 ding, then right. it is much longer. Not too bad. Ar yeah, I think it's not the Arjun zone that Shockey wanted. Yeah, but Arjun gets 37, so it's it should be pretty manageable for Shockey. Yeah, he might get point. a 20 at this one. Oh, no. Going for the quick uh, 19 instead. Yeah, he and does that, end up uh, edging out RJ. And that is some really difficult cheese on RJ's board right there. Yeah, but watch the master. He True. gets through it like True. It's like we're playing cheese race, Jace, just right now. Yep. Oh. Yeah, probably gets he's been there. Get some damage back, but. Shocky hesitating a little bit, not quite sure what to do with their stack, choosing to go for an SDSD. I think RJ's a bit uh, stuck on his options. He's like trying to decide between digging and like sending the damage, but. That was a nice burst zone from Shockey there. A lot of that ends up on wow. RJ's board with only a quarter zone. These are some pretty good uh, combos. Nice. Yeah, R RJ finds the piece sequence he wants and yeah. then enters the zone. Nice. So he's like pretty much down. So that was a very nice zone. From that was RJ. a very nice fix. Yeah, choosing to not tank Ooh, the next. RJ decides chunk. to tank that garbage. Okay, yeah, because RJ's been having some interesting strategies with tanking so far, and I really like it. I think RJ. Uh, feels like he's better at managing um, garbage than his opponent, so he's willing to like, like force the game to be like that kind of way. Right. I, I would say that Shockey's definitely been more on the offense when it comes to garbage management, but that RJ has been a lot smarter with the management. Yeah, he gets into like an attacking position like a lot faster than his opponents most of the time. Yeah. Which is how he wins his matches. Ooh, Ooh. but Miss dropping the IP. Yeah, so Miss dropping the IP sucks down. there. And I feel like that's what he feels like he has to do against Shockey, who's like a faster player. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, RJ has full zone, so does Shockey. See who comes out on top. All right, 38, 38 not bad. 14, 36, 36 with 16, okay, very even. Shockey clearly upset about that miss drop. Yeah, nice, nice down stack though. Getting right back into it. RJ's still very low, so Shockey still has an uphill battle. That was a nice combo down stack from Shockey there. Nice. Right, RJ a bit ahead on zone right now. Also very low. Both players getting pretty low right now. Ooh, RJ opts to tank two, <gasps> two attacks. Very risky. That's right. that's a scary situation right there. Shockey also pops three quarters zone. To match RJ's. Yeah, okay, RJ gets a 23. Feels like Shockey will edge him out in this one. 
24. Yes, was looking for better with that T-spin, but didn't quite get it before the zone ended. Yeah, but RJ got another quarter zone, trying to speed through, but... This is where Shocky Ooh, wants not really to have RJ out. right oh, now. Yeah, yeah exactly, wow. yes. It's very nice. <laughs> Shocky's a very expressive <laughs> He's very expressive. <laughs> he also moved around a lot, which, like... I feel like annoyed Devin a lot because he like <laughs> had to move the camera. Yeah. He's like always like slightly like slowly like inching forward. Yeah. Have you ever watched like Amamiya stream? I don't think so. He's like he always just he's like also like slowly inches towards the camera. <laughs> it's like kind of funny. He like comes like off frame. Ooh, RJ gets the MS2 PC. It's big damage. Shock is gonna down stack ASAP. Yeah, there's a lot of discourse about openers in um in TEC and a lot of people like that like MS2 kind of sends the PC at a time when your opponent is probably up stacking that's a tough situation for Shocky right there oh yeah and so like the timing of the NM MS2 PC can really throw off your opponent and it's considered a very like strong opener in TEC I think it, it yeah like, or like PCs in general you know you're just up stacking then you don't expect to get hit by 10 lines right yeah I think a lot more people look for a stick spin than oh Ooh. there's only a quarter zone. <gasps> Shocky yeah, half zone. has a half zone now. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh I can't is, tank that. This is tough. Okay. All right, he's he's he's, he's like he's living. But yeah. RJ's not gonna stop sending the damage, so he's got to figure out a way down and like fast. Yeah, that's Shocky's forced to zone again. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay, not that too bad. probably is enough to get him out of it for now. But if we look at the score difference here. Oh yeah, RJ's, RJ can send a zone that sends up in phase 3. Exactly. Shocky isn't ready for that at nope. all. Nope. Yeah, that's... I think Shocky is the kind of player oh, yeah, who... Yeah, so the, here's a zone that is probably going to push us into phase 3. Shocky will probably be able to find a full zone or just go for a three-quarter zone. Yeah, going for the three-quarter zone when he's a bit more upstacked there is probably the right call. You don't necessarily need the full timer if yeah. you're as fast as Shocky is. And the stack uh, is better than RJ right now, so yeah. he's like able to send more damage. Yeah, RJ not very happy with that. Zone clear. Does not get <gasps> to 60k either. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so th there's the the zone damage coming in. Wow, if if RJ had gotten that into phase three, then that would have been a much tougher queue for him to deal with. Yeah, so it, no, like it worked out for him, like luckily. Yeah. Because we do see uh, Shocky was in phase three garbage as well. This Ooh. is oof. All right, what do we got? All right, RJ doing some very smart decisions. Not covering his garbage holes, but... See how far he can take this. RJ has a full zone, yeah, lower down on the board. Chucky has a, what is that, five wide? <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what's going on there. I mean, he could easily like, zone and clear that out because he has a lot of up stack, but... <gasps> So there's that dead zone chunk right at the end. Okay. Yeah. I think Shocky mitigates this here. Yeah. Shocky's zone is looking pretty good right now. Nice. And is able Ooh. to send a little bit of offense here as well. Yeah, RJ takes a, a bit of damage from that. Yeah. All right, back to digging for RJ. <laughs> yeah, back exactly. Back to the mines. <laughs> True. <laughs> Right. Nice it's though. such a tug of war in, in yeah. these phase three, these long matches. Honestly, and that's what I love about TC. Nice. All right, RJ off to use his full zone. Chucky's probably gonna try to get full zone himself. Ooh, the doc is a TP in time. Shocky's finding some nice efficiency in the zone. Yeah, and his zone has been edging nice, out. Yeah. Has been edging on RJ. Oh, RJ oh, yeah, has a, not a want to quarter tank zone. Then. Yeah, and ah. Shocky's just continuing with the pressure because yeah, he knows that's on. his win, win condition. And yeah, there we go. Wow. Nice. Good play from Shocky. Wow, that was wild. That's the TEC special right there. Yeah, nice. Going well into phase three on all of those rounds, pretty much. Yeah, that was good on Shocky for figuring it out like towards the end because. RJ was beating him out in phase three until like the last like two-ish rounds, right? Yeah, yeah, and we, we definitely saw the endurance game from both players there, um, and I, both players handling it really well. Kind yeah. of different stacking styles, but still, you know, holding their own really well. Mm -hmm.